Raleigh men's and women's shelters are exceeding capacity almost daily. Yeah, leaders at one of those shelters, Healing Transition, says they've seen an increase in people coming in seeking help. CBS 17's Lily and Donahue shows us how they're trying to provide it. This video shows the overcrowding inside Healing Transitions men's campus. The facility averaged 313 men every night in August, a 286% increase from just a month before. As we've been utilizing our community room and our even our admin lobby uh, to accommodate folks coming in. Executive Director Chris Budnick says the facility doesn't turn people away who want help for substance use disorders, but he wants to see more facilities, more options for people to choose help, especially as the county grows quickly. We need the existing services to be operating and we need to build the infrastructure out to support the demand in the community. Another thing he says could help the growing need among uninsured or underinsured people is Medicaid expansion, which is on pause until a state budget gets passed. If individuals are entitled to, can open up doors for other resources that exist right now for Medicaid facilities that accept Medicaid. Healing Transitions is taking overcrowding into their own hands, expanding facilities with funds from their $23 million capital campaign to eventually accept up to 500 people at a time. Hats off to our staff and our participants for stepping up and dealing with a lot of overcrowding. And here at the women's campus, they've already started construction on expanding their shelter and community space. You know, the bright side of this is that the opportunity to build a larger community of people that are in recovery and whose lives are being transformed. That's the exciting thing. In August, the women's shelter saw a 146% jump in their everyday population. The expanded facility is expected to open in November. Reporting in Raleigh, Lillian Donahue, CBS 17 News.